Hi, this is Dr. Ben Rekin at Reno Sparks Med Spa in Reno, Nevada. I have uh, Nazir here, and uh, Nazir is going to get some moles off. I'm going to point to his moles. Why don't you sit up, Nazir? Um, how long have you had this mole up here that I just numbed up for you? Since birth. Since birth. Has it grown lately or not really? Not lately. And if you look at this small, do a little bit of a close-up, you can see that it's monocolored. It's the same color as the surrounding skin. I expect a nice cosmetic result almost immediately when I take this off with radio frequency. Now, if you look at some of the other moles, this one also is monocolored. I expect a nice cosmetic result here. That hair will grow back. You'll have a bit of a bald spot for a little bit, but the hair will grow back. Now, this one's a little darker. It's a little lighter because I numbed it up, but it's actually darker than the surrounding skin. That may still have a dark base when he's done. And then he has one on his occiput back here, the back of his neck, and he'll have a bald spot immediately. Uh, but that will grow back and the hair will grow back at a normal rate, just as if he had a close shave. All right, I have here the, uh, the, the real star in this room is the Elman Surgitron. It's a radio frequency machine. Works quite nicely. You can put it on cut, coagulation, or sort of destroy mode, which is full duration. And uh, so what we're going to do here is turn it down to about 12, the standard setting that I typically use for skin work. And the business end of this is a very small little less than a centimeter uh, uh, round wire loop and will actually uh, perform cutting function at less of a crush injury than you would get with a scalpel. So the cosmetic result is superior. So this is a wet procedure. So we like to keep the area wet. Why do we like to keep it wet? Because this actually bursts the water in the cells. So I'm going to put a little water up here and just kind of leave these areas wet. The wetter they are, the easier the procedure goes. And uh, you'll see in a minute, it's quite cool. The, uh, the mole will just kind of come right off like a hot wire through butter. You ready, my friend? Ready. OK. Feel any pain? Nothing. Now I numbed him up before we did this, so you didn't see the numbing, but it really doesn't hurt. Still no pain? No pain. All right, so we're done with that one. Looks pretty good. Look at it from the side there, Esther. Esther's holding the camera. All right, so it looks much better. So we're gonna move down to these moles. Pretty good. Now, if you notice, it's kind of yellow and fibrous looking. That's a fairly typical result after this. That'll heal over with skin and look fine in uh, three or four weeks. All right, now comes the, the money spot. <laughs> Let's uh, give him a mirror and see what he thinks. I want you to first focus on your forehead. You happy? Oh yeah, it's, it's incredible how fast it was. Yeah. 
How seamless. They were there for 31 years, not there anymore. Okay. How about these? You happy with these? Yeah. Those will heal up. Do you like to wear a beard? No, not, not really. Okay. Well, those aren't going to hang up shaving anymore. You can tell they're pretty smooth. I'm just running my finger mm -hmm. across them. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll heal over with skin and, you know, there may be a little bit of brown in there. If so, we can go after it with laser later if you want to. Okay? Nazir, thank you. Thank you. And, uh, Appreciate it. This is Dr. Van Rieken mm -hmm. from Reno Sparks Med Spa. Um, you know, these moles are clearly benign. He's got some Middle Eastern blood, some Chilean blood. He's kind of dark. These moles are under six millimeters. They have, they're monocolored. The ones that are darker are dark all the way through. No signs of cancer, no family or personal history of skin cancer. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. So, you know, these are things that don't need a biopsy in my opinion. But if the most important thing about a mole is to make sure it's nothing bad. So if your doctor has a good eye and wants to take it off, fine. But if he's not sure, then some of these things need biopsies. And in fact, earlier today I did a biopsy on a gal who just came in for mole removal, but I ended up uh, doing a biopsy on it because I think it may be a ward or cancer on this particular lady. So, uh, you happy? Happy. All right. Thank you again. Thank you. Uh -huh. All right. This is Dr. Van Rieken from Reno Sparks Med Spa. Stay good looking.